Hello Booktube and welcome to my bookshelves. So welcome to another video. This is going to be a recent book haul. But before I get into the books, just a quick update on a few on a few things that's going on in my life. So some of you may know if you've watched my channel that I'm in a drama group and we are in the final weeks of rehearsals for our, our Christmas family show and that is Treasure Island. I'm playing the pirate Israel Hands. Um, this is sort of an adaptation for children, so it all has sort of happy endings and nothing bad happens. Um, so Treasure Island, as so I'm playing a pirate, we had a rehearsal last night and it was dreadful. It was a really, really bad rehearsal. So we got about three weeks before we open, we open at the end of January. So we've got a little bit of work to do before it's ready for the public to come and see it. It was painful last night. So that is Treasure Island adapted by Phil Wilmot. So that is Treasure Island. So that's what I'm gonna be fairly busy with over the next few weeks. Uh, to update you on my Agatha Christie A to Z, I have just finished um, at Bertram's Hotel, which means for the A's, I only have the autobiography to read, which I would hope to get started in the next couple of days. So as soon as I finish this one, then I will do a video all about the Agatha Christie A to Z, the A books. So hopefully I'll get started on that one very soon. Also, just to let you know what I'm currently reading, and that is Stephen King's Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Collection of short stories. Um, it's about 600 pages, so I'm sort of slowly working my way through them. I just read the story Chattery Teeth, which was, yeah. It's about um, novelty, fake teeth, sort of chattery teeth that come alive and start eating people. Yeah. So yeah, Nightmares and Dreamscapes sort of working well, well through that. Most of them are fairly good. There's been a few I didn't like, but I'll do a proper wrap up once I've finished. So let's get on with the books that I have acquired over the past few weeks. So starting off with Christmas. So my lovely wife bought me a couple of books. First one is The Pocket Detective. This is a quiz book and it is based on the British Library crime classic books and there's lots of Agatha Christie and quizzes, there's sort of word searches, puzzles, sort of guess the covers of books. Yeah, so I shall look forward to dipping in and out of the pocket detective. And it's tiny, it's small so it can fit in a fit in a pocket so you can take it take it wherever you go and in a spare five, 10 minutes, do a little quiz. Also from the British Library Crime Classics is the Arsenal's, just knock all the books over, is the Arsenal Stadium Mystery by Leonard Gribble. Never heard of this author before, but as an Arsenal fan, I'm very, very intrigued. So this is based around the 1939 Arsenal squad and a member of the opposition team dies during a game and murder is suspected. So really looking forward to getting this one. Sounds intriguing. And I believe it uses the real players from the 1939 squad. Uh, so yeah, so that is the Arsenal Stadium mystery. Looking forward to that one. So I also got some vouchers for, for Wallstones for Christmas. So I have got three books and I haven't used all my vouchers so I've still got some more to buy. Um, first one I picked up was Rather Weird by Andrew Choldicott. So I've seen this on the, the buy one get one half price table in Waterstones a lot and I keep picking it up and reading the, the blurb and I'm always intrigued but I haven't yet bought it but with my vouchers, I thought I'm going to give this one a go. This sounds sort of fantasy, mystical, 
um, sort of very strange. It's all about, I believe, people with certain powers and they are banished and they set up their own town um, called Rotherweird and sort of live in this town sort of with no strangers. And then somebody else comes into the town and yeah, and the plot goes from there. I don't really know too much more about it, but it sounds sounds amazing. I love the cover of it, even with the sticker over it. Yeah, so that is rather weird by Andrew Choldicott. Next one I picked up was again on the buy one half price. So this is Mythos by Stephen Fry, a retelling of Greek myths, I believe. I heard a lot about this on uh, booktube a lot of people have put this in their their top book of last year as well so i thought i would give this all a go as well next one i bought was half price and i've seen simon at savage reads talk about this and he loved this and that is the mermaid and mrs hancock by imogen hermes goa i think i've said that right um again this is sort of a fantasy mystical magical book about about a mermaid obviously um don't really know huge amount about it but i know that it's been a favorite of a lot of booktubers over the past year and yeah really looking forward to to getting into it and again i just absolutely love the cover of this and that is the mermaid and mrs hancock and finally i have three books that were given to me um a friend of ours in the in our drama group works in waterstones and she knew i was doing doing this so she brought along three books um two of which haven't been released yet so they're proof copies i think one has just been released um and she thought i might be interested in they're all sort of spy thrillers so hopefully i should she will like them First one is, I think the one has already been released, and this is M by Henry Hemming. I think this is a, a true story of, of a spy who was the inspiration behind James Bond's M. Um, supposed to be one of the world's greatest spy masters that you've never ever heard of. Um, yes, yeah, so it'd be interesting to to read that one. Next one is released in February, and that is Marked for Death by Tony Kent. And again, no, absolutely nothing about this. I've not read any books by Tony Kent before, but it sounds like a sort of spy thriller book. So I shall try and read that one before it's released. And let you know what I think. That is Marked for Death by Tony Kent. And the third one she gave me was, is to be released in March this year. And that is Accidental Agent by Alan Judd. Again, this is a sort of spy thriller and sort of centres around the, the European Union and Brexit and... Yeah, so it's all going to be quite a political spy thriller, I think this one is going to be. And that is Accidental Agent by Alan Judd. So that is my my book haul for this month. Um, so my next read again will be the Agatha Christie Year um, autobiography. I will finish the Stephen King. My next Stephen King book, because I'm reading them, I'm trying to read them in publication order. So the next one on the list will be Insomnia, which I don't have, but I will purchase soon. Um, I've also been reading some Sherlock Holmes short stories. I've been doing like a Holmes reader read along on Twitter and Instagram. So we've had six short stories. I shall do a wrap up video of that soon. And I still have some money left on the vouchers for Waterstone. So I shall be taking a trip and seeing what I can find there. What do you recommend? Um, what have you read recently? And let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll talk to you all in my next video. Thank you for watching.